Hi, this is Karthik. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I'm going to teach you introduction to formulas in Microsoft Excel 2010. Once again, I repeat the topic: uh, introduction to formulas in Microsoft Excel 2010. An introduction to function. A worksheet function is a built into that you use in a formula, right? What is a worksheet function? It's nothing but a built-in tools, right? Worksheet function allows you to perform calculations or operations. What it allows us, we can able to perform calculations or operation that would otherwise be impossible, or else these calculations or operations are impossible. A typical function such as sum takes one or more argument and then return a result. For, as a, for example, the typical function such as sum will take one or more argument then result return a result. The sum function for example accept a range argument and then return the sum of values in that range. So the sum function accept a range of argument and return the result of values in that same range. Whenever the content of a cell will be treated as a formula or a function then expression entered will always begin with an equal sign. For example, if you want to treat the content of a cell as a formula or a function, you should use the equal to sign, right? Once again, I repeat the same. Whenever the content of a cell will be treated as a formula or function, the expression entered will always begin with an equal sign. The formula allows you to build calculation from scratch. We'll be having a a built-in function or store functions or pre-stored function where we can able to find our calculations or we can able to use the built-in function based upon our desired requirements or from scratch. In some cases there may be a pre-existing function included in Excel that will be more efficient to use. So the more function we use in Excel or pre-existing or built-in functions we can use this function very efficiently and very conveniently. So once again, I repeat: you select the cell in which you want to want the result of the calculation to be appear, and type an equal to symbol. So what you have to do is, whenever you want to enter a function or a formula, you should type equal to symbol. Type the desired formula and select one of the following to commit and run it. So you want to select the formula first. And if you want to run that formula, either you want to press enter or press tab key or click the right symbol on the formula bar. I will show you later. Once again, repeat. So, whenever you want result for a calculation, you want to type an equal to symbol, then you want to type the desired formula and select any one of the following. Either you want to press enter or press tab key or press the right symbol on the formula bar to run it. So this is a formula bar. If you click this, the automatically it will run. And next comes to order of preference. An easy mnemonic to recall the order of preference is, please excuse my dear, and sonata. So here, if you keep uh, keep those things in mind, it's very easy to find out the order of preference. Let me see the order of preference. So P stands for parenthesis. E stands for exponent and M stands for multiplication and D stands for division and A stands for addition and subtraction. Whenever uh, an Excel formula or functions, see this parenthesis, the first preference will be given to this parenthesis and next to parenthesis exponent is having second priority and next to exponent and multiplication is having third priority and next to multiplication it will be having the next priority level. And next comes to your addition and last comes your subtraction. So this is a order of preference. So to remember this, so please parenthesis, excuse. So E for exponent and my so multiplication and dear for division and and for addition and S for so not other is a subtraction. And uh, there are five types of Excel 2010 formula. There are five types of formulas. Are there? What are they? 
in general there are five types of formula that we can create first one is calculating formulas that is that calculates the number answer like adding and second one is lookup formulas that look up an item in a table like looking up on tax rate or customer phone number during that cases we can use lookup formulas and third one is text formulas that delivers a word to a cell or create a labels for reports like an income tax statement label so we can also use our text formulas and next comes logical formulas that gives you a logical value either true or false like formulas that say whether or not account are available or account or in balance and next comes your array formulas or advanced formulas that can deliver more than one items different from non array formulas that delivers a single items right if you want to use multiple values then we can use uh, array formulas and next question an excel 2010 formula elements what can go into a formula what are the things we can give as input inside a formula so here is a list of different sort of things that we can put into formulas so the following things we can able to use as inside the formulas first one is equal sign starts all formulas whenever you equal use equal sign it intimate that you are going for a formula or a function and second one is cell reference also there is a defined names sheet reference workbook reference next one is a max operation there is a plus subtract multiply etc etc or else you can use numbers if number will not change like 12 months or 24 months or or 24 hours and built-in function like average some count of dollar pmt etc and comparative operators like equal to say greater than greater than or equal to less than less than or equal to and not equal to then join symbol so and uh, the text that is in quotes for example we can give it to give double quotes any text within double quotes and array constants like you can able to define the array values within this curly braces so one comma two comma three so these are the various things we can able to use now I will show a practical example how to use this I'm going to open Microsoft Excel 2010 so where this is called as a formula bar if you click this formula bar you can able to see the various kinds of formula bar sorry various kinds of uh, methods for example a uh, select a category where we can able to see most recently used method all financial daytime and max and technology statistical lookup and reference database text logical information engineering cube and compatibility so you can able to select any one of this for example I'm going to take logical and this are the desired function which is grouped under logical so now for example I'm going to have some values right here let us say 10 20 and 30 and it's a uh, hundred and uh, two hundred and uh, three hundred so if you want to do some calculation you select the cell where you want to display and then use equal to sign and then use some operations and see so or you want to press the range and either you can press uh, the symbol or enter or spacebar automatically answer will come for other cells you can use the like this and for example if you want to use a if command so you always starts with equal to sign it means that you are going to use formulas okay so if okay so some condition you use it so now I am going to give within double quotes some values okay hi or else I am going to display some values whatever it may be it's for just for an example and press enter okay so automatically these things will come okay so this is how you want to use the reference where I want to give some uh, 
more information about your user interface when you click the file tab it will take you to the backstage view this view is called as a backstage view where we'll be having plenty of options like save savers open clues and recent new and trend save and send help and option and apart from that we'll be having tabs like home by default home tab is active insert page layout formulas data review view and team so this is called as a ribbon where we can able to minimize it or maximize it by using this button and all excels so this is called as a title bar by the default name will be the book one and uh, all worksheet will be having three sheets we can able to see three sheets sheet one and sheet two and sheet three and okay I think you may enjoy this video the elaborate session will be continued in the next video and I want to say thanks for watching this video thank you